Hey, 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 welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Today's gonna be a fun day. It's about 10.30 a.m. and I'm in bed and I have a dog right there and a dog right there. And I am currently importing yesterday's vlog. For some reason it's showing up blue and I'm kind of confused as to why that is until I like go click over it. Whatever, I'll have to figure that out. I slept really weird. I don't know if I'm gonna leave bed today. So this might just be a vlog from bed. I think that might be interesting to see how that goes and how we can do that. Can you stop growling, please? Hi, buddy. You coming to say hi? Hello. So, I'm here in bed, and I might just get up to, like, you know, pee and eat food. So, that's probably what it's going to be. And I need to finish Zoella Vlogmas 2015, because I was re-watching that before Vlogmas today, and then I need to finish that before noon. Okay, so I really need to, like, get going, because I need to edit this vlog, and I need to upload it and schedule it for three to go live, and then I need to continue watching Zoella Vlogmas 2015, because I need to prepare for Zoella Vlogmas 2016, which starts today, and I'm very excited about, and I need to catch up with my subscriptions, and I need to watch Zoe's new video for 24 Days of Zoella. If you didn't know already, Zoe and Alfie are, like, my favorite YouTubers, like, legitimately, and I'm not entirely sure why, because that's kind of evolved. Like, my favorite YouTuber used to be Tyler, but then I think so many people were like comparing me to Tyler that it kind of turned me off. Like I love Tyler, I love his content, I love everything that he does. And his new thing with Warby Parker is really cool though and I will say I want to buy those glasses but they're so expensive. And so I think so many people were comparing me to Tyler that it kind of turned me off of Tyler as like a fave YouTuber. And then obviously Ben J. Pierce was my heart, my soul, and still is my heart, my soul. Like for God's sake he's my ringtone. But, for some reason, I think I've grown a little detached, and I don't know why, because I really love Ben, and I really love Ben's content, but usually I was, like, on top of the game. I think it's because I'm starting to see myself more as a level creator, even though I'm small, instead of just, like, a fanboy. Like, if that makes any sense, does that make sense? Like... I don't know if you guys saw, but yesterday, I don't know, I can't remember if I said it in yesterday's vlog, I was featured on We The Unicorns, um, that was pretty cool, that was like a huge step for me. They picked six creators that read We The Unicorns that had sent them messages in the past, and I was the first one featured on their list, which was pretty, pretty dang cool, I, if I do say so myself. So I feel like even though I haven't gained any from that, I don't think, but it was a pretty cool thing to just have happen in general and I really liked it but I think I'm starting to see myself on more of a level playing field even though I am a smaller creator like I've got 1500 subscribers and they've got thousands upon hundreds of thousands of millions of subscribers but like I don't know <laughs> I'm starting to see myself as less of a fan but with Alfie and Zoe it still feels more like a viewer creator relationship even though I because I don't think I'll ever see myself as equals to like Zalfi at all, ever, because I just, I admire them so much, and I look up to them, and, like, Zoe's struggles with anxiety is something that's helped me in the past, and, like, her talking about it in her vlog this last year really, like, made me think, and then Alfie's, like, always my comedic relief, like, he's always there, and I got to meet Alfie at Playlist, and he was, like, the sweetest person ever, and he, like, took a picture of my business card, too, so he wouldn't forget it or lose it, which was pretty cool, and he just, I don't know, it just, he is... I, Zalfi has changed my life. <laughs> like, not gonna lie. It's not the, oh, OTP, whatever. No, like, they're legitimately good people, and they make me feel better about myself, and yeah. So, that's why I watch their videos religiously, and, and Alfie uploads every day on his vlog channel, and I love it. I love watching vloggers. Guys, why don't I daily vlog? Oh, that's right, because I don't fucking do anything. That's my little rant about Zalfi. I love them. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna go edit this video. I need to get it done. All right, I will see you soon. Yeah. Hey, so it's before noon and the vlog is edited and it's uploading right now. What kind of goodness is this? I'm setting my camera down. Um, hopefully this is a halfway decent angle and you can see me because I'm gonna do my advent calendars. That's what I was going for. I need to, like, reach them, and I'm sorry that I look disgusting. Oh my god, I totally just hit Buddy in the head with that. I'm so sorry, baby. I look really gross. 
but I'm not planning on getting up. And I also gave one of my advent calendars to Amanda because apparently she didn't know that it was chocolate. And that's why she gave me the other one. She's like, I don't need two. So she literally didn't know that it was chocolate. She didn't know that's what an advent calendar was. And I was like, okay, sure, have my other one. So now I'm back to having two advent calendars. But let's find number two. It's really just under number one. That's lame. Ugh. Oh my god, is it gonna be the same thing? Are these all gonna be like circle chocolates? That's gonna be really annoying. They're all circles. It's a little present. Okay. I mean, the chocolate's not bad, but still. All right, let's find number two on this bad boy. I can't see the numbers on it. Oh, is that number two? There's number two. Okay, let's try and open. I can never fucking, I cannot get this open for the life of me. Jesus, hello. Okay, there we go, there we go. The people in the Holy Land were governed by the Romans. Oh boy, religion. Are these all hearts? Oh, I'm gonna be so irritated. Why do all the British people get the cool advent calendars when we don't? That's really lame. So apparently these are all gonna be heart-shaped. And underneath it, it's gonna say, Merry Christmas in a different language and where they say that. Can we also just take a minute to look at the nutrition facts and it says that the serving size is about 11 pieces and there's about two servings in here, but you have to open one a day so you can't even have a serving. I love this, this is great. I was looking forward to having a lit advent calendar with different chocolates, but apparently they don't make those in the US. So I am gonna watch Zoella. <laughs> So he's vlogmas. Now, um, the video's uploading, so that's good. And I don't know that there's anything else that I absolutely have to do today. I should probably work on shop stuff at some point, not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, that's that's weird. Laying like that and not having boobs that make cleavage, that's a strange feeling. I don't know. Sorry. That's the first time I've 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 noticed that. And then I was laying like that, but there's not there's not boob there. That's weird. <laughs> I also need to take a shower at some point, and I thought I was gonna feel really bad today because I slept really weird, but I'm actually feeling okay right now. But I could totally have just jinxed that, so don't hold me to it. And also, look, I have puppers. Oh my god. Hello. Pupper. Pupper. I have them both in my Christmas blanket because I am a trash can. Also, hopefully when my mom gets home today because she was gone last night, we can do some Christmas decorating. Ooh, that would be fun. Come on, Wendy. I want to decorate my room, but I don't have room in my room anymore because I kind of have that entire area full and I have that chair in here now, which I didn't have in here last year. So I had like a tree right where my bed is and I have a little tree that goes up with ornaments and stuff but I can't put it up because I don't have room and I was thinking about clearing this off and putting it on top of my nightstand but I don't know if that would actually work out or not. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully you like these little in bed chatty vlogs because I think that's what you're gonna get from me from Vlogmas. So I'm gonna go catch up on my fave Vlogmases and I'll see you guys. So the fact that I slept badly is catching up on me and now I just wanna pass out and not do anything and not talk to anyone and I still haven't showered and what time is it? I have no idea. Oh, it's almost 2 p.m. And I just, I feel gross and I really, I do have to shower because I have to change my bandages and stuff, but I really don't want to. I feel lazy. Also, Earlier today, after I had updated you guys, I went back and I was like, oh, wouldn't it be fun to watch Vlogmas of mine last year to just see how much I've improved vlogging or changed whatever. That was a bad idea because within the first five minutes I was talking about my old dog, Sadie, who passed away December 4th last year because we had to put her down. And within the first five minutes I was talking about that and it was like, I like she was in the video and I just started bawling like I lost it like I had no control and I was like why did I think that that was gonna be a good idea to watch that because it made me so sad because she was like my best friend so enough with the sad stuff I fucked up this morning <laughs> but other than that I've just been on tumblr and I had lunch and I need to shower and then I really do think that today's just a bed day today's a bed day like 
vlogging from bed because I don't want to move and I don't want to get up and I just kind of want to watch YouTube and be on Tumblr and I don't really want to do anything and I don't think I have to do anything. So I'm going to shower, like I've said, four times because I need to. I think I will when this vlog is done and I've got like five minutes left to watch it. So hopefully that goes well. And I'm also sorry if I look really gross and like this looks disgusting because I have my chest binder on which I have to wear as a compression vest still and it looks grody as heck because it's forever old. And then this gross ass white tank top. But you know, just, just forgive me. I might read a little bit of Cruise Child today. I don't know. I'm like in a weird like all over the place mindset. Yeah, I'm gonna go shower. So since I am about to get in the shower, I thought I would show you guys currently what my chest looks like. It has been about a month since I got my surgery. Okay, and here we are. This is the current state of the chest. I'm trying to hold the camera so you can actually see what it looks like. This is a great angle. Um, so it's looking really, really, really good. Uh, this side clearly has more stitches left that haven't dissolved yet. They've dissolved pretty much all on this side, and this nipple still has some healing left to go. But it's looking really good in general, and I'm very, very excited about it, and I'm very happy with the results, and I'm just a happy camper. Um, I still have to wear my compression bind 24-7, so I can't get away from that yet, but um, I have my next appointment on the 19th, so you guys will obviously come to with me to that through vlogmas so hopefully on christmas morning i can be shirtless and not have to worry about wearing clothes so that would be really great and really wonderful but um not having boobs is weird <laughs> um i will tell you that because here's the thing that i experienced today i was laying down and i was laying down like and my elbows were like like this and there's no cleavage and I was like what the fuck <laughs> like it was such a surreal weird moment just to not have like boobs like it was so it was so strange but it also feels so good and like my chest is looking so good it's looking a lot healthier and oh my god I'm just healing really well and I'm very excited and happy about it and I wanted to show you guys because it's not like graphic anymore it used to it used to be it was like bad so like my vlog when um I went and got my drains out ugh, ugh, I will never ever watch that vlog again except and I had a hard time editing it too so if you watched it good for you but this is what I'm currently looking like so I'm gonna hop in the shower and clean up and I still can't let water come down here so I have to like shower with the shower head to my back which is weird because I'm a weird person and I shower facing the water yeah I shower facing the water so people think that's weird but whatever so that's what we're doing hi okay chest good hey look I'm in clothes and technically out of bed um but I showered and I'm feeling a little bit better still mentally kaput kind of so I'm just gonna you know lay down and continue watching the Wall of Vlogmas while I eat my Ritz bits, all of that good stuff. You know uh, how it goes. But yeah, my chest is looking really good. I'm glad I was able to, I'm glad I thought to like show you guys a little bit of an update. Um, because I have only showed you up until I got my drains out, I'm pretty sure. Because that is when I made that video live and all that good stuff. I should probably plan some YouTube videos, actually. Um, I do have my notebook right there, so I'm going to probably do that as well as watch. So, hmm. maybe when I get another thought, I'll talk to you. <laughs> hey, bud. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh, just just hanging. Hi, Skippy. Hello. Okay, oh, <laughs> just kick her off the bed, why don't ya? Happy Vlogmas Day 2. Like I've said before, I feel really bad. I slept really bad last night because I didn't go to bed till like 3.30 because I wasn't tired. And so I was expecting to sleep until like noon. But instead, my body was like, ha, huh, no, let's not. Let's wake up at 8.30. So I did not get an apt amount of sleep last night. And y'all know how I am when I don't get sleep. So I am low-key exhausted. And I'm dissociating hardcore, which is nice. But I also wanted to like, make sure I have a little bit of substance to the vlog today even though it's literally a vlog from my bed. <laughs>
I hope it's been fun though. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'm gonna drop my camera on my face. I'm seeing so many people do so many cool things and it's like vlogmas and everybody's doing all this awesome shit and I'm just here like laying in bed because I don't feel good. <laughs> and I also feel like I don't do enough with my life. I feel like I kind of am at a standstill even though I'm doing some pretty cool stuff. Like it just doesn't feel like it compared to other people and I know I shouldn't compare myself to other people but that's a human trait. It's something I do. It's not something that I can initially control. So I'm feeling a little bit bad a little bit jealous of some people and I'm a jealous person and it's gross it's like a really unattractive trait and it's something that I need to work on and that I've tried to work on and it got better for a little while and now it's just bad so really fixing my jealousy is like I don't know I don't know if my jealousy will ever be fixed because I'm just always jealous of everybody who's doing cooler things than I am but who knows maybe I'll do cool things eventually that would be cool if I could like eventually do cool things I don't know, I guess being featured on We the Unicorns was uh, pretty cool the other day. I want to go on their website desktop and find it and find the article, so I think that would be fun. And yeah. Actually, let me go find that right now and I'll show you. Okay, so high key, we're on We the Unicorns website and all of their most recent stuff. And then you scroll down and this little thing here is, you asked us to check out your YouTube channels and these are our faves. So you click on it. Hello, please load. And these are like their faves out of the people they've checked out. And just they adore their readers. They're talking about that. And look, look who's there. It's little old me. What the hell? <laughs> it's super exciting and super cool. And they put my channel trailer up, which I need to make a new channel trailer. But like, I thought that was super cool. And I think I'll go through and feature all these other people that are here too. I need to check them all out as well. Um, comedy actress focused on character. That's so cool. Like I just, all these other people are awesome. Fantastic attraction in London. I just, Oh my gosh, Troy Sivan nail art. My mom showed me this one the other day and she was like, this is the best. So she watched this before I did. And just look at all these awesome people. I just am so honored to be featured among all these cool people. And like, I don't know, just being on We The Unicorns was such a huge thing for me. Like, look at me, I'm right there. I'm permanently on this website. And this is freaking, ah! It's crazy. That's my face on We The Unicorns. Look at me. Look at me there. Holy shit. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool and a little nuts and yeah. So thank you We The Unicorns hashtag shout out for featuring me. I really, really, really appreciate that considering I read The Unicorn. I read, I read The Unicorns. I read We The Unicorns all the time. So being featured on it was a pretty, pretty damn cool thing. And I do have to say that's a pretty cool accomplishment. I think that's my number one accomplishment of 2016 was that I'm featured on We The Unicorns. So that's pretty cool and I didn't show you guys yesterday so I showed you guys now and even though I don't feel good, I don't know, I think I'm gonna go watch all these other people um, on We The Unicorns and subscribe to them, the ones that they featured, because, I mean, obviously if they featured them on We The Unicorns, they've got some quality content. So that's what I'm gonna do. Say goodbye, Skippy. Goodbye. So I low-key think I have a fever. Like, actually, like, I feel really warm, but I have the chills, which is great. This is a wonderful way to start Vlogmas, by the way. Also, I'm crying and feeling some type of way towards Criminal Minds. Well, this is an ad right now, but I'm watching Criminal Minds because it's on Ion. And it just made me cry so good because it was that one episode that I'm not going to get. I don't know if you've seen Criminal Minds or not. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to talk about it because you should go watch Criminal Minds. But it was, oh, uh, so many emotions. It was like the hardest episode of Criminal Minds I've ever watched in my life and like I've already seen it obviously because I've watched the whole series but I just watched it again and after I fucked myself over earlier this morning watching something I shouldn't have watched and I just feel really really bad why do I always talk about this when I vlog like I'm always like oh I feel really bad and I'm not intending for you to like feel bad for me or anything like that I'm just letting you know that I feel bad like I don't know, because I feel like explaining that I feel bad and why I feel bad is better than not having a vlog for vlogmas. I don't know. That's my perspective. I have a dog still. There he is. And I have my lights on and my Troy signature. 
I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go um, make some tea and run my feet under hot water because I can't take a bath. So I will see you guys in a little bit. I put my hair up. Can you tell that means it's still a bad day and that I don't feel good? In order to cope with life, I think I'm gonna go watch a couple of my friends' vlogmas videos that they've uploaded today. And I just made, oh, it's really hot. I gotta be careful not to spill it because it's also full. Some mint tea that I should occupy myself with for a while. And I'm talking to Allie right now. I miss Allie. I love Allie. If you don't know Allie, IELTS TV, youtube.com slash IELTS TV. She's my favorite human and one of my fave YouTube friends ever so I'm talking to her right now because I'm feeling a little salt but I feel like that's normal I don't know I'm feeling salt towards a lot of things right now a lot of things in my life so I'm gonna go yeah I'm gonna talk to Allie that's what I'm gonna do right now